Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for the week of April 8th through the 14th. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. We're just going to see what comes up. This reading may or may not be for you. Not every reading can be for you. Don't try to make it be for you. Okay, it may or may not be. The 8th through the 14th for Libra. What do we got? Presently, you may be finding some happiness, okay? Something may be happening, you know, it's like action is, something's happening, something is happening. Um, this may have to do with a commitment or, you know, a lot of happiness. In the past, there's been a lot of insecurities. You may have felt like you were, something was falling out or something was falling through. You may have felt like there's a lot of insecurities here. This is fear of taking a risk. I mean, there could be somebody coming in and, you know, heading in your direction pretty, pretty quickly. And you may be afraid to take a risk. I don't know. Letting go of the past hurts. Lack of confidence here. You're receiving something, definitely. You are receiving something. Oh, a new, a new beginning, a new passionate start here. We do have a new beginning here for you, Libra. Something good, something exciting. Right now, you're in the process of letting go. Letting go of the past hurts. You're healing, right? You, you're going through a period of recovery, and you're making a lot of progress. I feel like somebody is coming in, and they're giving you something, okay? Somebody's coming in, and they are giving you something. I think that you... You may be a little fearful. You may be a little fearful of taking a risk, but I see you hoping for the best. I feel as though you're getting something that you deserve, okay? Maybe you're just getting some reciprocation or you're, somebody's giving you attention. You may be really excited about it. Um, you're being, this is, you know, you're being called to just go for it, go for it. This is an exciting opportunity that could really blossom into something beautiful. I feel like right now um, you may be afraid. You, I mean, I do see fear. You may be afraid of getting hurt. Maybe you're afraid of being deceived. You're letting your insecurities hinder your happiness. So try not to try not to do that. I feel as though you're highly intuitive at this time. I feel like you you are seeing situations clearly. You may be keeping to yourself a little bit. Um, you know, just to gather your thoughts with the, all this, uh, all these feelings that you are feeling. I feel like, you know, you're, you're, it's a happy, this is happiness. This is happiness. Um, there's a feeling of, of really, really moving forward. Okay. It looks like you guys are going after what you deserve and, because you're taking action, somebody is reciprocating, okay? I feel like there's some reciprocation here. But this fool, this fool reverse, this is, this is the, you know, this is the, around the corner, this is lack of faith. You know, there's this, this is like the future right here, okay? It's like you got to have faith. you got to have faith in new beginnings. Don't let your fears and your insecurities hold you back from happiness. So I don't know who needs to hear that message, but I have to tell you that I'm I'm being told that you need to go ahead. Just go ahead. This is a opportunity for something really, really beautiful. Okay? Really, because you see the blossoms, that's gonna it's blossoming into a beautiful, you know, tree, perhaps. You know what I mean? So You know, if you think about a butterfly, it's like a transformation. It's a rebirth. It's it's like you've been through, you know, a period of, you know, it's the chrysalis, right? You've been through that period of evolving. 
And now it's time, and it, right? It's time for you to fly. It's time for you to blossom. It's time for you to show your beauty to the world. So anyway, I really feel like somebody's seeing your beauty as well. I do feel like somebody is seeing your beauty. They're seeing your um, uniqueness. Lack of faith. Lack of hope. You know, this is a this is letting go of those old ideas. So stop thinking that everybody's gonna hurt you. Stop thinking, you know, about the past. This is letting go of an old idea. It's it's like <sighs> you gotta have faith in new beginnings, have faith in fresh starts, have faith in, you know, the unknown. Okay. Uh, you know, I really feel like you guys are, there's lack of confidence here. Lack of confidence here and lack of confidence here. You know, hold your head up high. You know, don't let your old thoughts and your old ways and the old things that didn't work out hold you back from wish fulfillment. All right? I know that you've made a lot of progress. Don't go back to where you've been. Okay, so that may be a challenge that you keep going back to your old, you know, thoughts, your old ways, you know, what happened, blah, 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 and it's hindering your wish fulfillment. You know, um, I really feel as though you probably have somebody that is taking action, coming into your life that can take really, 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 really good care of you. Um, things may be a little chaotic right now. You may, you may uh, need to be flexible. You maybe you need to adapt to a new situation. Um, you me things. You know, I feel like right now you you. You're, you're fearful of change. This is fearful of change. I think we have a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that may be wanting to help you or they may be wanting to make you happy or they're trying to give you something. They're trying to reciprocate and, and maybe you just... Maybe you're overwhelmed by it. Maybe you're overwhelmed by this attention. Maybe you're overwhelmed. Maybe you're overwhelmed by this. What they're giving you. You know, I feel like you are being given a whole lot by another person. Somebody really, 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 really sees your beauty. Okay? They they see your abundance. They see your... your uh, It's almost like what you're worth. They see that you're worth so much. Libra, I feel as though somebody is looking at you. Somebody is seeing that you have a lot to offer. A lot, okay? They think that you are, you're it. I'm not kidding. Whoever you're dealing with really is passionate about you. Just put it that way. Somebody has a lot of passion for you. A lot. They, they, they feel like you are their wish fulfillment. They feel that you are just it. No kidding. Um, this person... You know, you you may need to be fit this person into your life because this is a, this is these are both about balance. Maybe you need to find a way to fit this person into your life. Maybe you're a little overwhelmed with all this attention that you're getting, and you need to uh, fit fit it in. You know, it's kind of funny, the star. Reverse is lack of wish fulfillment, 
right? Lack of hope, but this is wish fulfillment as well. So, you know, don't let your lack of faith, your lack of hope, thinking that this isn't going to work out, get in the way. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment here. I think that there's an opportunity if you have been single, somebody may be rushing in. I mean, really, like literally rushing in to, you know... take that title away from you I'll put it that way you know if you have been single somebody thinks that you can uh you know maybe they think that you are meant to be with them they think that you know you're the one you know I feel like we have somebody here that is very 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 into you and you know they they want to they want to sweep you off your feet and I don't need the knight of cups to say that you know I really feel like we have somebody here who Look at the contradictions. It's crazy. Somebody wants a new beginning with you. Somebody wants a new beginning with you. They want to start something. Somebody is definitely attracted with you. And I think that this is an opportunity for you to come out of this dark period. To accept change. Okay, It's, time, it's an opportunity for you to have happiness. This is an opportunity for you to you know, commit to happiness, to commit to letting go of the past pains, to stop holding on to your old ideas, to let go of your insecurities, to let somebody help you, to let somebody, you know, bring you or give you what you deserve. I really feel like we have somebody here that is, I mean, with the Six of Pentacles and the Justice card, this is getting what you deserve. So I really feel like you are receiving something that you absolutely deserve. And you may not feel confident that this is the right opportunity, you know. But I'm telling you, I think it is. I really think it is. I feel like, you know, this is an opportunity to break free of those old burdens. It's an opportunity to let go of the past. It's an opportunity to start over, you know, to let this person help you. So I, I really feel like... You know, you have a new opportunity looking right at you. And it's it's like, this is a very passionate start right here. It's a passionate offer. Who, whoever this person is, they really, really, really see your worth. And it's not going to be a one-sided situation. This person's going to put in effort. They're going to give to you. I mean, really give to you. They want to give to you. They They think that, you know... They see your abundance, okay? And I'm not just talking about your money. I'm talking about everything. They see that you are, you're it. You're everything. You know, they think that you're everything. That you have, you're the whole package, put it that way. You know? Anyway, I think that you guys have somebody that is coming into your life. That will help you to come out of this period, uh, this painful situation that you have held on to this is the change that you deserve but I feel like you may feel you may feel like unsure about it I think that you're unsure about it but I don't think you should be I think this is an opportunity again with the three of swords reversed and the ten of wands to let go of those past hurts to let somebody in let somebody in you know, I really feel like this is an opportunity for a lot of happiness. This could lead to a commitment. If you haven't met this person yet, you can meet this person at some sort of gathering. Um, I think this is happening fast. I think there's an instant attraction. I feel like <laughs> you need to have faith. You need to believe that whatever is meant to be is meant to be. This is an opportunity for you to get what you deserve where there's reciprocation from another person. It's like somebody really wants to take care of you. And I feel like you need to let them. So that's this is what I have, Libra. I feel like 
you know, the worst is over if you allow it. If you allow somebody, you know, have faith, believe. This could be a dream come true. I think you're dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, who, you know, you may be overwhelmed with the attention that they are giving you because you're not used to it. Maybe it's been a really long time. And now, this is what you deserve, okay? This is the, this is the uh, opportunity for wish fulfillment that you truly deserve. Don't push it away. Whoever you're dealing with is being honest with you. They truly think that you're the whole package. Let them in, whoever this is for. I don't know who this is for, but this is an opportunity to let go of the past betrayal. Break free and start over. Okay, so I don't know who this is for, but... It's time to, you know, make a conscious change. This person can help to bring balance back to your life, inner child. Your inner child is urging you to lighten up a little. Get out of your comfort zone and have some fun. In order to be healthy, we must engage our imagination, creativity, and spont spontane spont spontaneity. Spontaneous, whatever. Be spontaneous. There we go. When was the last time you did something spontaneous, intuitive, and outrageous? When and with whom do you feel inhibited, inhib relaxed, and completely comfortable to be yourself? Your inner child can be strong can be your strongest ally or your biggest foe. It can assist you to heal childhood pain, rejection, loneliness, and abandonment. It can take you on an exciting adventure, help you become more confident, daring, original, and bold. Or it can make you behave in childish ways, ways bring up anxiety, fear, and suspicion. <laughs> it's so funny. It's just basically... Clarifying the reading, I can see that there's fear, and I see that you're you're suspicious. I can see that you are unsure, but there is an opportunity for a lot of growth and a lot of happiness here. Just go for it. Just go for it. This card beckons you to heal your childhood pain and discover your independence. Like I said, let go. Let go of the past hurts, the past, the old ways, the old ideas. Anyway. This card beckons you to heal your childhood pain and discover your independence, compassion, creativity, talents, and joy. A healthy inner child can help you connect to your integrity, divinity, and purity. It believes in miracles and creates magic in your life. It's time to go on an exciting adventure. It's time. You have a new exciting opportunity here. Don't let the past old you, your old insecurities, your old ways, your old thoughts, the past love, whatever it is, hold you back. This is a very attractive opportunity with somebody that is willing to basically do whatever it takes. I feel this person really wanting to give to you. So anyway, but that's what I have, Libra, for the week ahead. I feel like you need to let go of those fears, have some fun, let your guard down, and just go for it, whatever it is. Good luck.